So today in the boot guy, we are talking about elevator shoes. That's right, elevator shoes. So back in October, the guys from Guido Maggi shot me over an email asking me if I'd want to do a review of their elevator boots. I was ecstatic. I was like, hell yeah, elevator boots? Finally, boots that are made specifically for elevator and escalator engineers. You know, the guys that have to keep those things running and fixed? Man, was I mistaken. Once I started to look at the website, I realized that not only did I just agree to do a review of boots that I really don't know anything about, but they're not for work or outdoors. They are casual and dress boots and shoes. But after I laid down my ego and all my principles and all that stuff like that, I realized that a really good video made about elevator shoes in the construction of the shoe, in the materials of the shoe, and just about the purpose of the shoe and boot could be a very valuable thing. So let's talk about it. Guido Maggi sent me out two pairs of boots and the first one we're gonna look at is called the Budapest. Now let's look at this shoe, it's beautiful. I mean, you cannot go wrong with this shoe. You take the quality and the craftsmanship of this shoe, you put it side by side with any other boot or shoe, let's say an Allen Edmonds, let's say a Johnson Murphy, let's say a Florsheim, and it's gonna have that superior quality to it. They use some really great materials. First, the leather. The leather is out of this world. It's leather inside, it's leather outside. And it being a bespoke product, you can just imagine that it's going to be a quality product. Fully welted sole. It's a leather sole with a leather stacked heel. And they used a beautiful slip resistant rubber on the sole. Now remember, we're talking about an elevator shoe here. So it would be kind of silly to use a full leather sole on something that you're already standing four inches off the ground in. It would just be slippery. You go from smooth floors to rugs and stuff like that and you just slip and fall on your butt. They're already hard enough to kind of walk in out of the box. Now when you first put these things on, you're not gonna be a gazelle. This is like wearing any high heel boot out there. So if you've never worn loggers, it's kind of the same thing. The first time you put on a pair of loggers with a real nice, hard, heavy sole and a thick front sole, you feel like you're standing six inches off the ground. And theoretically, you are almost three inches off the ground in a pair of loggers. So it's that same feeling that you're gonna get in these elevator shoes. So at first, you're not gonna go run a marathon. You're not running up and down the stairs. You're not walking around the house with any sort of grace. It's gonna take you a little while in order to get this thing to work with your natural gait. But once you get there, and once you achieve what you're trying to do with an elevator shoe, you're gonna be exceptionally happy with the quality and craftsmanship of a Guido Maggi. Now my second boot's the Chicago, and I'm wondering if they sent me the Chicago strictly based off of the name of the boot. If that's true, I'm cool with that because if everybody knows, you can hear it in my voice, I love this city. But let's get back to the boot. So the Chicago is a beautiful suede wingtip boot. As you can see, there are some amazing details throughout this whole boot. One of the most impressive things that I found about it is the way they build the heel. Now the actual heel in this boot, normally your heel cup is gonna land right down here about an inch and a half above the heel is where you're gonna have your highest point. But since it's an elevator boot, it steps it up a whole nother three inches. So your heel actually lands here. Now, if you were running around with this in a pair of shorts, it's gonna look really goofy because you're gonna see this whole engineering part that goes on right here in order to get these things to work. Remember, these are elevator boots. So you have an insole inside here that's that much more. It's that much taller. Now there's lots of beautiful materials that they used here. One is the suede. The suede they used on the outside of this boot is super soft. Now one of the drawbacks on this suede is 
The beauty of it also makes it a little bit more vulnerable to stains and stuff like that. But if you take care of this suede, if you get yourself a good brush and you keep it clean, you're going to have a beautiful looking boot for a long time. They used a Vibram sole and a Vibram heel. Now, we've seen this Vibram sole before. This usually appears on heritage type dress boots. It's a beautiful sole. It works out really well. We've seen other boot manufacturers use it on some of their really nice boots. And for obvious reasons, because it's just, it's sticky. It's the perfect foul weather sole. Foul weather not being 8 to 12 inches of snow, foul weather being a little rain, a little sleet, some ice on the ground. This Vibram sole, this model is excellent in those conditions. And I say that meaning coming in and out of dry to wet places, going from inside to outside, back to inside, where you're on different types of floors, where water displacement is really important, especially when you're wearing a boot like this. You want something that's going to make you feel safe and secure and sure-footed. Now, the quality in Chicago is exceptional. Remember, handmade, bespoke product, it's going to be exceptional. There's going to be no loose threads. There's going to be no off-stitching. There's none of that happening. This is a craftsman-made product. The guy that put this shoe together really knew what the hell he was doing, and it shows. When you look really close and tight at this boot, you see his hand and his patience in the boot. So that's the Budapest, and that's the Chicago by Guido Maggi. If you're currently wearing a pair of elevator shoes by Guido Maggi, please comment below. One of the main questions I see floated out there in the internet is about walking around and moving in a pair of elevator shoes. So please, comment below about that. Also, if you want to talk about the quality and craftsmanship of your Guido Maggi's, please, that's something that gets overlooked a lot in these boots is that they are using real quality materials, that these shoes and boots are built by craftsmen that have a lot of love and care put into them. Hey, if you're interested in seeing some detailed photos of these boots from Guido Maggi, or if you're interested in watching a video of my shoe model moving around in these boots, please swing by to bootguy.com. There I'll have real tight and detailed photos of both of these boots, and I'll also have a nice short three minute video of my shoe model, Louis Nieves, running around in the Chicago boot, appropriately in Chicago. Hey, please don't forget to hit my subscribe button below. It really helps out. And don't forget, you can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Hey, if you should have any questions about picking up a pair of these Guido Maggi's, remember, you can always shoot me over an email. All right, until the next time, I'm the boot guy. Thanks a lot for watching.